So a very common problem I see is folks swaying on the way back, letting this hip go out a little bit, and that gets them off balance, right? Some of the reasons you're gonna be off balance are gonna be in our setup. Maybe we're back on our heels a little bit. And when we take it back, you can see I'm gonna recenter myself, but now I'm in a different position with the ball. It's gonna to be tough to maintain my balance. Same thing if I was out on my toes, I'd wanna settle back in. So we wanna be very balanced between the heel and the toe, feeling the entire foot, bending the knees and just letting the club drop down in front of us. But you'll see that my arms are hanging straight down right there. I need you want a nice base, nice wide base, a little flare of the toes. That your, this is a seven iron. You want your feet just outside your hips or somewhere in that area so we don't get a sway going. We want our nose right on the club head. Hands a little bit forward, so the hands would be on top of the ball. Then the line would go straight from the ball through our hands, right through our heart, right next to our ear. Okay, and as for the swing, what we're trying to do, instead of going that way or rising up, we want to rotate. We want the hip to rise and rotate so that we can stay down. I have the bender stick here to represent that, but you could use an alignment stick out on the range. Just something right here, maybe your golf bag behind you with the stick hanging out, something to, we have an indicator near our hip, make sure we're turning the right way. We do this in front of a mirror as well. Give you that sensation. You see it from this angle. A lot of rotation, a lot of hip rise, hip going back behind us. This trail leg's gonna rise a lot, it's just not gonna lock. While we're rising though, we essentially want to keep our head steady. Not dead straight or solid, just steady. It can move a little bit, but we don't want to rise out of it because that's going to limit our rotation. Okay, so if I have a shot here, you notice I have an alignment stick that is located right off my heel line. So is this, but the alignment stick's right off the heel line, right in front, because I'm going to do some swings where I take it back, rotate my hip, come through with my lower body or my torso, uh, not my torso, but my uh, core, going through first, in essence, just my belly button. Where my belly button goes, obviously, the rest of my body goes. Belly button towards the target, and I'm gonna have a sensation that I'm dragging the handle through, all the way until I get to here. You see how everything meets in the middle. You wanna think of the body as the tortoise, my hands and arms is the hair, so I need the tortoise to get a head start so everything can meet right there. Just a real simple drill, a little half back, maybe a quarter swing with a little hinge. And then turn so that your belt buckle and chest are looking at the target, including your eyes. You'll see your chest is a little bit up. If I was going this direction, it would be right here. Still a little bit of angle here maintained. We're almost pointing essentially at the target, but maybe hands a little bit left, club slightly right, just because we're maintaining this drag as we go through. Right off my left hip, you see I still have a little bit of my tilt left over, but I'm also a little bit up because I'm coming in from a side bend and rotating out of it. If I take side bend and rotation, I'm gonna end up over here. Let's give that a shot again, and we don't want to get too big with this. We got to train this small swing until we're ready to go big. And you should have some pretty crisp shots. If they start going left, which may happen, then we got to realize, okay, I need to have less energy in my hands and arms, leave those behind me, and have more energy in the core. That last one went really well. So this one I'm really going to drag the club head with the handle and send my core around the corner. And that one went right down the line. So practice that a little bit if we look at this angle, right? I'm just going to pick it up here, work my way around there. If I look at it here, right around there, 
practice that a little bit. That should help a ton if you want to get rid of a little sway and coming in a little out of balance with a lot of hands and release so that you come in and have this release coming through a little bit, which is affecting that ball flight. Let me know how it goes and uh, send me a video of you doing this drill.